Good morning, guys. Welcome to Cause We Can Farms. So today we're actually cutting out our windows over here. And these are the tools we're gonna use. Obviously you need eyewear and hearing protection because these guys are super loud. I only use my grinding tool to start the cuts. And then I cut with my reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade. The grinder actually throws off a lot of sparks and it can jump out of your hand. So I really don't like using it too often. I'm just not strong enough, but I do need to start the holes. And so that's the tool of choice for that. The reciprocating saw with the, with the metal cutting blade um, cuts really nice and it's physically just a lot easier for me and it doesn't throw sparks. So that's the one that I really like using. So that would be my recommendation. A few we weeks ago, we actually drew out where we want um, these windows to go. So let me explain what we did on that. I also have the video that I'll link right here for you to check out um, of us laying out these windows. Okay, so what you wanna do first is measure what is considered your rough cut opening of your window. So basically your, your measurements of the inside part of your window that will stick into your framing. And that's uh, this line here. And then you wanna add, uh, we're doing a two by six frame. So you wanna add that three inches on to the extra side of that, and that's the second line that we have here. That the two by six frame that we're gonna put in is actually gonna go right here. So this is your cut line, your second line. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is remeasure the window. This is actually our bathroom. It's a fairly large window, but it'll be really nice for um, the lighting. It's 29 and a half. I got this is 30. So the reason, what I did was I made this a little bit bigger because I didn't want my metal actually sticking out. I wanted it to be able to, the two by six to come in a little bit past the, um, the metal. So what you're gonna end up doing is creating a wooden frame that your window sits in and then that wooden frame with the window is gonna slide into here. So you want your window measurement plus your one and a half inch surround of your window. And that slide in is gonna slide in on your cut piece. And so I you wanna make sure that you add your measurement for this is a 29 and a half inch window. So I'm gonna measure that. And right here I have it at 30 and a half, so that's a little bit over. And this is at 33 and a half. So that would be 29. So that's actually a little bit bigger than what we want. And that is 30 and a half. And this is 33 and a half. This is a really good reason why you want to remeasure. I don't really know what happened here. <laughs> so we're gonna have to remeasure this because like I said, you only get one opportunity to cut. Um, and we wanna make sure that it's perfect before we actually cut it. So let me double check all of my measurements and figure out exactly why what is going on here? Let's see what this one is. That's 37 and a half. Thirty-five and five eighths. 
Hi guys, welcome to the farm. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd really love for you to consider subscribing. We're, we're having a lot of fun on this build. We're learning as we go. Uh, we've got the tiny house shipping container and tree house, but something we've figured out. People watch on their television and on your television, there's absolutely no way that you can uh, comment or, or like or do any of those things. So um, my suggestion or our and, suggestion. And his suggestion too. <laughs> would be to go ahead and download it on your phone. You can continue. The YouTube app. That. Yeah, YouTube app. You can continue to watch on your TV. But when you're doing that, you can be on your phone and you can still comment. You can still like. We love to hear from you guys. We love your comments. We really appreciate all of that. And that also makes it a very easy way for you to share our videos and your other favorite YouTubers videos on your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, all of those things. And that really helps the channel out because then your friends will want to be our friends. And and subscriptions do not cost anything. It's it free. Totally free. Yeah. So we hope you want to hang out with us. We're fun. We are fun. <laughs> and we have a beautiful view. Yes. Check that out. <laughs> and really chatty roosters. <laughs> so what I did was I found center and of my window, which was, uh, so this is the window plus the three inches, which gives me my frame. So the window itself is 29 and a half, adding the three inches, found center here where I want my window, divided that in half and went off this direction and off that direction. Hey guys, editor Heather here. And at this point in the video, um, I divided wrong and my numbers came up wrong and I did not double check all of my math. So make sure that you do that because once you cut, you can't take it back. This all worked out for us in the end because, well, you'll see at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. One of the things that you really want to um, look at and do if you possibly can is make sure that the your window stops either on one of these humps that go in or one of these humps that go out because that's a much easier place to create your sandwich. But you have to do whatever your window wants you to do. So our line is on the downhill slope, which means our section that is sandwiched together is gonna have to be angled so that we can squish those together on this metal to create the, the frame that's attached to uh, the shipping container. And then the wooden frame with the window in it will just be put right on the inside of that. So let me get to drawing these lines and we'll draw a bunch of X's on what not to cut <laughs> so that we cut the right lines. So those lines are basically just as easy as that. You just really wanna make sure that you've got your bubble in the center and you draw a straight line. So the next measurement that I'm getting now is the rough opening of the height part of it. And that looks like 35 and 5 eighths. It's a very odd shaped window. So I got these windows for free, which is uh, why they're not in like perfect shape. Like they came from Home Depot. Um, they were pulled out of an old house, so they're a little bit different shapes, but I, I paid a very small amount for them. I did not get them free, but basically got them free because <laughs> they were really cheap. This is 39 and a half. So we want it at this line. So we started that line right there. Okay. And these ones were too long. So our top line is good. We're going to adjust this bottom line and I had already marked that line. So I guess I knew that this was already wrong. So I'm really glad that I rechecked. <laughs> um, so how you get this line and to have it be a nice straight line is you take your long level 
Oops. And you set it on your draw line. You make sure you're good and level. And you draw your, your line across these um, indented parts here. And you kind of want to go, make sure you go over a little bit. And then you want to get a piece of cardboard. So you want to make sure you use a non-cut edge. So you want factory cut edge because that's straight. And you're going to connect your lines. So we like to joke around a lot on this build and have a really good time, but that's one tool that I take very seriously. It will jump out of your hands and cut you. Like it's got the thug life, no joke. <laughs> so if you're gonna use that tool, be extremely careful. And it's not just me, every other channel that I've seen that have used that tool to cut out windows, it was their least favorite. So just be very careful, use all of your safety gear and cut out some windows. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to cut these two ends, connect them, and then do the top. So when that happens, you guys are going to have to hold on to this so it doesn't fall. Okay. amazing how much more light happens every time we punch a hole in this thing. <laughs> I'm just going to set it in there. See, it seems like a really big hole. That is a really big hole. My first line was correct. First line was absolutely correct. Well, don't you need to have both? No, I'm probably six inches too big. 
How about one of those other windows? Would that fit in there? No, because I think the other big window is actually bigger than that one. I really cannot believe this doesn't fit. Super frustrating. So I think that the there's a window still left in the watershed, and I'm pretty sure it's smaller than that one behind you and bigger than that one. No, it, that's what we were going to put back there. It was a big one. I really Ginormous thought it was a one. big one. I don't know. Maybe we should check it out at least. That might be an option. I don't know. Because I, I swore it was just a little bit bigger than this. Because I think this was the big one that we were going to put on the back wall. And the one that was going to go here, oh, was, no, this already... was the smallest one, so that's why we were going to put it in the back. But then we measured this out here and decided not to put one there. I think we forgot. All right, other let's go measure it and just see. Okay. That's the case. Yeah. These ladies are not supposed to be in here. I'm so glad we've kept this covered because then our water would be poopy. Oh my gosh. It is a, it is a small... I really thought this was a big one. Like, no. I thought it was... Okay. Measure that one. Okay. See, I was pretty sure. <laughs> okay, this is uh, 33 and 5 eighths. By 43 and a half. See, look it's at that. So, like, <laughs> I literally cannot that. believe that. Now everybody's, really? Lady, singing the song of your people? People are going to think we did this on purpose, but we really did not. <laughs> we did not. I thought I... I guarantee this was not on purpose. I guarantee it. <laughs> I was about ready to cry. <laughs> no crying in... Uh, in homesteading. In, no, no crying in building. In building. <laughs> There's a lot of crying in building. <laughs> we have some very naughty chickens hanging out in <laughs> the watershed. All right, we're just going to leave this here. We're still calling it a night. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate hanging out with us. We really appreciate you hanging out with us through all of our shenanigans. <laughs> what a happy accident. That's amazing. Good night. Good night. Sorry, this is your cut line. And then you sandwich the two by sixes we cut those and we sandwich the metal with two by sixes and that gives us the rigidity. I need to redo that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> no. Heather, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Completely <laughs> off. Girl, get it together. <laughs> take two. Take four. I was going to say, do you want to say that with more confidence? Because I was like, do I believe that she knows what she's doing? <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Yeah. So you can see where I went up above the line right there. See how cool this looks? <laughs> Woo. You almost died. I, I saw that. Are you gonna be our first rotisserie chicken? Oh, that was gonna happen. What are you doing, girl? You always been doing it for a while. Why? She got Why? poop on her grill. Like the owl is gonna get you. It's just gonna get you to swoop, swoop in and get you. Seriously. No, you can't live in the house. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna be a parrot. <laughs>